Hey guys, so today I decided that I was going to make my first video on advice, I guess, for new dancers. And um, just to give you a little background, I've only been dancing for a year this August or September, and I absolutely love it. It's on my school dance team, and um, yeah, and I'm the captain for this coming year. So that's exciting. My school's dance team started last year, just now started, and we've been doing pretty good. Okay, for new dancers, what you're going to need is you're going to need a bag and let me move this. This is what my bag looks like. It's just a bag we got on discount at gtm.com, which is where we get our uniforms from. And you're going to need jazz shoes, which look like this. Most schools prefer black jazz shoes, but it depends on your school. My school provided these for me with a fundraiser. You're going to need a leotard. I would show you mine, but it's dirty because I wore it to practice the other day. Uh, it's pretty much just a black. Leotards are different, but the kind we have are spaghetti strapped so that they don't show up in our uniform if we ever get new ones or a costume or something. It's just spaghetti strap, and then it's a black body, and it comes up around your panty line area. I don't know what to call it. Um, you're going to need practice clothes unless your school supplies them. I know some schools pr 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 supply um, practice uniforms because they want to make sure you're dressed appropriately, and it's easier to pick out what's wrong when people are dressed alike. I know that. Um, but basically what we wear is just whatever. Um... I wear like some, sometimes I wear cut out shirts with a tank top underneath them, but, and we, a lot of us wear softy shorts or, um, Nike shorts, and, um, yeah, but the most important thing with practice clothes is that you want to make sure you can move freely in them, but also that you're covered up modestly, because even if you're the skinniest little girl on the team, nobody <laughs> wants to see your skin, so if you do wear a cut out shirt and a sports bra, be sure to wear a tank top over it, just out of respect for your school. Um, you're going to need hair ties obviously because you need to keep your hair out of your face and you're gonna need bobby pins you're gonna need sports bras I know some girls are like oh I have little boobs in me I don't need them when well, you need them trust me a regular bra does not cut it not at all especially if you're a palm team or like a high energy jumping up and down bouncing you need a sports bra believe me just take my advice you can get good ones at I got mine from Lane Bryant, I know that Nike sells them, any sports store sells them, sports store. Uh, Walmart sells them for cheap, like 12 bucks, I think. Um, you're going to need socks the same color as your shoes. Obviously, nude socks are probably hard to find, so you'd probably want to buy some socks that go underneath your shoe or whatever. You know, like, okay, that would go underneath this little thing right here. Whatever. You're going to need time because... Dance takes up a lot. I only have practice two days a week, but games take up a lot too. You gotta consider, um, your schedule needs to be very flexible because you have to understand that in basketball season, if you're performing and basketball games, your schedule revolves around the team's schedule. So if your school performs at away games, we don't, we do on special occasions if we're asked to perform, but, um, your school is not going to be like, oh, do you have free time to dance? They're going to say, okay, you guys need to dance this game at this time between this quarter and this quarter, and you have to do it. You have to be there because if you miss a performance, it's not really good. I've, I've never had a girl miss a performance on my team, but if it happened, I'm pretty sure it would not be very fun. But um, what to bring in your bag? Uh, you're going to need, depending on your preference. You're going to need a bag, like a big bag. I use this one because it holds everything. Um, you're going to need deodorant. Duh. You're going to need muscle cream, like Icy Hot, or I know the dollar store sells like an off-brand for a dollar. Um, just because your muscles will get sore, and you have to dance through the pain, even if you have a pulled muscle. I've done a kick line with a pulled muscle in my thigh, and it hurt, but I mean, you need muscle cream and pain relievers and all that. Uh, you're going to need water or Gatorade. Um, extra hair ties and pins and hairspray for a performance. Um, you're going to need your dance binder and your notebook. I know not everybody does this, but we have our little notebooks and all, 
all it is basically is it just has um, the dances we learned at EDA, it has our conditioning sequences, it has extra paper making conditioning, what you need, basically what you need to know. And this is really helpful. So if you're the captain of your team and you guys don't have these, you should really think about getting them because it's helped a lot of girls so that they're not always, how many crunches are we supposed to do? How do you, when do you point your toes? Like it's just, it's just easier. Um, you're going to need a body spray because even if you don't think you sweat, you sweat and you smell horrible after practice. Everyone does. Everyone does. I promise you. Um, you're going to need a brace, a knee brace, an ankle brace, a elbow brace, a wrist brace. If you have an injury, you don't want to injure yourself in practice because I know it sucks, but you wear the brace for now so it'll heal or you're out for the rest of the season. I mean, um, you're going to need your palms. This is what our palms look like. They're just silver. They're really easy to grab. They smell bad, but uh, yeah, they're cute. Um, you're going to need palms just because your coach probably wants to know what the performance looks like fully put together. But for basketball games, it's a lot of different story. You want to bring as minimal, as little as you can for basketball games because you don't want to have a lot because I've had some stuff stolen from me but basketball games before, so I mean... I don't know, you don't want to bring everything. Um, basically all you need is your palms, your jacket. We normally don't wear a uniform top to the game until we get there, I guess, because we don't want to get stains, like if we eat something. A water bottle, um, extra makeup, like lipstick. I know we had to wear red lipstick last year, and if you didn't have it at the right tone, you were like, yelled at, so you're going to need, um, I would just bring lipstick and powder. That's pretty much all you need. Um, also, you're going to need money like a dollar, a couple dollars, like, you know how much your school stuff costs, but, um, if you do run out of water, or you are hungry, you know, bring some food, but for football games, now, we don't have football at our school, we're just now getting football, and we're not even gonna have it at our school, because we don't have a field yet, but I would assume you'd need gloves, and, like, a headband, and just keep you warm, pretty much the basic, same stuff as basketball games, um, some tips. Okay, tips on uniforms. This is what my uniform last year looked like. It's just full sleeves. Okay, but as you can tell, it's white right here. And I think there's a stain on it right there. Oh well, we're not using them again, so. Uh. But it's white, and normally when you put your shirt on, you get... Well, if you bring your makeup down to your neck, which you should, um, you'll get makeup on your neck. So what you should do is have a friend or your mom pull on the neckline a little bit. This is stretchy material, so it's not going to kill it. Just pull on the neckline so you can slip it over your face and onto your body without getting all your color on. Because there have been times at games when I was first when I was first dancing and I had makeup all around my neckline. It was not cute at all. And it just ruins your uniform. Another tip is that when you um, first get your uniform, pay attention to the washing instructions because this was once brown. Yeah, I washed it the very first time with my pants and my leotard. I, I don't know how, but it turned brown. And I was almost going to have to order another $55 uniform top. So, <laughs> just pay attention to the you You don't, yeah, just pay attention. And another tip is if you have long pants, we just wear black jazz pants. Um, ours were really unshapely for our body. They didn't really fit quite right. I don't know why. I guess we just kind of grew or they were just... I would normally have to come up to about right here because our uniform tops came down right here. So we needed that extra coverage. And what my mom and basically all the girls would do is you pin right here, right here, on this side and this side, and then you pin a pin in the very back. Just because in our performance, um, before we learned how to pin them, or before we had the bright idea to, I don't know why we didn't know in the first place, but um, in a performance one time, my pants came all the way down to around my waistline, which you're like, Kayla, that's not a big deal, but it really was, and it looks like I was sagging. It was really embarrassing, and just don't do what I did. Um, make time at home to practice and to stretch. I know... It seems stupid. You're like, oh, I have enough time. We work so hard. You need to keep up with your dances at home, and 
you need to practice at home a lot because it really does help. It makes a huge difference. Um, obey your rules from your coach. I know sometimes they're I know sometimes it, the rules can be strict, but trust me, it's for your best interest. Always keep your hair up. This is what I normally wear to practice. Um, I know some girl on my team will wear her hair up in her button, but regardless, just keep your bangs pinned back. I don't care how. Keep your ponytail up out of your face. And if little wispies come down, it's not really your fault. You know, just hairspray them the best you can. But don't get discouraged if you're a new member. I know when I was first, um, everybody was new whenever we started out last year. Just don't get discouraged. I know some people will say, you're a dancer, you are blah, 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 you know. Well, don't listen to them because you are your only, you, <laughs> I'm so bad at motivational speeches. You're the only person standing between greatness and failure. So, just believe in yourself, that's all. Have confidence, believe in yourself, and don't ever give up just because people tell you you can't do it. Be ready for anything. Sometimes in a performance, two minutes before we go on stage, they'll say, Kaylee, you need to switch spots with her and learn her part, go. As you know, there'll be times I'll change up the dance, or you'll have to buy a costume last minute, or you'll have to wear fake eyelashes, and I mean, it's just... But anyways, that is my guide for new dancers and if you have any questions about anything feel free to ask me in the comments or you can message me i'm willing to help and yeah hope you liked it and if you did like it there's a button i'm not sure exactly where it would be on either side it's a subscribe button and then there's a like button and then there's a rating button so get on that